everybody. Hi, everybody. As you know, we spent the last month, a little over a month actually, working on Liberty, and we were located at Bridge House Marina. So we wanted to make this little video um, really about not just the place, but some of the people there, some of the businesses that are operating there, just to give you a kind of feel for why we like the place yeah. so much. We really want to celebrate when people do a great job. Yeah. And we think the people at, uh, at this marina and caravan park do an exceptional Absolutely. job. Absolutely. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> background noise tucked away along a leafy country lane by the pretty market town of garstang in lancashire is the neatly walled entrance to bridge house marina and caravan park the original home of narrowboat liberty which was built and launched here in 2004. bridge house marina and caravan park has been run by the dodd family since thomas dodd founded it in 1973. He is memorialized on a bench overlooking the canal and boat berths at the marina. A pair of wood pigeons admire the neatly moored elegant cruisers from the high footbridge that connects the marina island to the rest of the facilities. Before it became a marina, the same space was occupied by Bridge House Farm. Thomas Dodd's son Edwin grew up working on the farm, and after it was transformed into a marina, he continued to work there. Edwin married, started a family, and eventually took over the ownership and running of Bridge House Marina. Today, Bridge House Marina is still a family business. Edwin's sons, Graham and Peter, run the marina now, and Thomas Dodd's great-grandsons, Luke and Matthew, are carrying on the family tradition by working there. Now and then, visitors are reminded of its agricultural origins, with vintage tractors still earning their keep. The Dodd family are friendly, kind, and being a farming stock, hardworking. The marina, touring caravan park, and holiday caravan park demand constant care and attention to keep them operating smoothly and looking neat. But Bridge House Marina doesn't stand still. The Dodds are continually working to improve the facilities. Just last year, they dug and landscaped a new pond by the Holiday Caravan Park and created several more spaces for visiting caravans. The Marina and Caravan Park also has a very nice playground and a small field for children to enjoy. I hear that more improvements are in the pipeline, but these are hush-hush right now, so watch this space. The Holiday Caravan Park is set in a picturesque and private corner of Bridge House Marina and Caravan Park, which takes in views of Lancaster Canal and the countryside. If you're looking for a Holiday Caravan, this park is gorgeous. More details can be found on the Bridge House Marina website in the description below. Each mooring is equipped with water and electricity hookup. There's site-wide Wi-Fi with plenty of repeater points attached to traditional street lanterns. And here's Chalky, which belongs to two of our good friends, Colin and Karen. At the canal side of the marina, narrow boats are moored along the cut. Here's where we worked on Liberty for the first year that we owned her. A friend, Gary's narrow boat, Albion, was built by the same man who built Liberty. There are, of course, lift out and lift in facilities here with a boat lift rated to 20 tons and a very experienced and careful team to haul your pride and joy in and out of the water. There's space for a dozen or so narrow boats out of the water, all with access to electricity. Because Liberty is our home, we love that we can remain on her while we're working on her out of the water. This is especially important to continuous cruisers who don't own a static home, saving the cost and disruption of finding alternative accommodation. Where else in the UK could we live and work for only £7.20 per day? This very reasonable rate includes mains water and full access to the excellent facilities. 
Electricity can be purchased if needed, which is extremely useful when operating power tools to strip the hull or remove previous paint finishes. Some marinas charge fees for service people to come to the marina to work on your boat. That fee then gets added to your cost. We've heard that many service people refuse to work where they have to pay a fee to the marina. At Bridge House Marina, they don't charge a fee to service people. They know good mechanics, electricians, and plumbers from years of experience, and they're always happy to share names you can contact if you need your boat serviced. The marina offers a boat brokerage facility, mainly selling cruisers, but occasionally narrow boats are offered, as was Liberty when we first saw her as the Black Pig in 2021. They have some nice offerings at the moment. The reception office handles all of the day-to-day -day business and bookings at Bridge House Marina, and they're staffed either by members of the Dodd family or by Nigel or Lindsay. The office is next to the work area and offers a small amount of chandlery items for sale, plus a useful lending library and plenty of local information. There is also a hardware builder supplies store, CNC, within walking distance and if they don't have what you need, they can usually order it. During the day, the boat work area is busy, but in the evenings, it goes very quiet. We enjoy working on Liberty. We applied our primer and blacking during the recent stay. If you'd rather have this done for you, it is a messy job. The office can provide the contact details of people who will do the blacking for you. We had some bad scratches on our gunnel that we wanted to repair and repaint. Whether you're able to paint or touch up your boat will, to a large extent, depend on the weather. This is Lancashire, after all. The weather was good to us while we were out of the water, but we still had to contend with persistent green flies and occasional bits of debris in the air. If you want to leave the painting to a professional, you can always watch someone else do the paint work for you while you chill with a drink and a meal at the marina's own Bridge 64 Kitchen and Bar. Bridge 64 Kitchen and Bar sources quality local ingredients for their baked goods, dairy, meat, and fish. They have inside and outside seating and are dog friendly. They offer breakfast, lunch, snacks, and evening meals. They also have live entertainment on Thursday nights. See the link in the description below. Working on the hard standing is an opportunity to meet other narrow boaters and to hear their experiences. You may remember Andy aboard Narrowboat House Martin. Here he is leaving the marina after re-blacking and such. Andy is an excellent narrow boater. Watch him get out of this tight squeeze. Safe travels, Andy and House Martin. In May 2021, the Dodds opened a new facility complex at Bridge House Marina. The facilities are available to boaters who moor here or who are working on their boats out of the water and of course to people that are visiting the caravan park. All doors are accessible by an electronic tag which is provided to registered visitors. Let me show you around. There's a family-friendly games room. No electric arcade games are here. Instead, focusing on pool, table football, table tennis, and air hockey. Modern and beautifully clean toilets are open to leisure users and day visitors to the site. There's a tidy LSAN facility with a sink and hand soap dispenser. A spacious and well-equipped disabled shower room. Inside the main building entrance, you'll find excellent washing up facilities, 
Hot water is provided free of charge. Now this is my favorite room. Next to the washing up room is a lovely well-equipped bathroom. There's a charge of two pounds to fill the bathtub where you can soak away the aches and pains of a day's boat maintenance here. And there's even underfloor heating. Next door is a laundrette where you can catch up on your laundry. There's a sink for hand washing items and two large commercial washers and dryers. The toilets and shower facilities are equally impressive with spacious shower cubicles, each with its own sink and WC, plus underfloor heating. Showers are free of charge. A really nice touch is the dog washing room with a raised sink and a ramp for smaller dogs. There is a floor standing hand shower facility too for dogs that are larger or are nervous. There's a two pound charge for 20 minutes, which is plenty of time for a good scrub. Bridge House Marina and Caravan Park is dog friendly. You'll usually see dogs lounging with their owners by the caravans or under the tables of the cafe. This is Sweet Nell. She's a big fan of the channel. This is Gracie Greyhound. Her owners have a holiday caravan here. Be sure to say hi if you see her. There are bunnies and ducks around the marina and caravan park, so dogs must be kept on a lead. But the Dodds have thoughtfully provided a fenced dog exercise field so that your fur babies can stretch their legs and meet other dogs for a romp if they've a mind to. Tilly loves to walk around the park, especially sniffing the calling cards left by so many visitors. The Caravan Park is beautifully landscaped and well maintained. There are 50 hard standing touring caravan pitches on the site all with access to electricity. Electricity is metered and available for purchase from the reception via a smart card. And this is Diane. She's the artist and she's the owner. And uh, you must come in and check out the different classes that they have available. And we'll put the website in the description below. This is a really cool gift shop. Lots of really pretty things. Those are really, really pretty. And are these things that you teach to yeah. people to make? Yeah, yeah. So they're lovely. They go in those metal oh, stands. yeah, they go in these metal it's stands that can. There. There's a smaller one. Like you use them in your garden for garden yeah. ornaments. The little one. Oh, lovely. They're open Wednesday, Wednesdays to Sunday, usually. But uh, if you phone or email ahead, we can sometimes come in, especially if you're only in the area. There you go. Tuesday. And this is the workshop area where people come in and they take classes and learn how to make some of these cool things themselves. And she's got quite a gallery um, if you're looking for some nice art, really lovely things. Also based at Bridge House Marina is Brazel Narrowboats. Brazel, owned by Andrew Crook, has been in the business of building superb boats since 1999. While Liberty was out of the water, we were fortunate to witness the launch of the latest stunning boat from the Brazel stable, the amazing Pendragon. Clearly there's been great care and attention given both to the exterior and the interior fitting of Pendragon. Pendragon's owners, Martin and Victoria, must be very happy with this elegant craft. 
as are their black sprocker mouse and the Springer Spaniel Rosie, clearly at home in their new surroundings. Thanks for providing the wonderful photos of Pendragon, you guys. Happy cruising. In addition to being an excellent place to visit in your caravan or work on your boat, the marina offers everything you need for a great day out on the water. They have two small rental cruisers, Coot and Snipe, that you can rent for the day. Fuel and life jackets are included in the higher charge, and you'll be given full training and instruction before the handover. See more information on their website in the description below. If you have a special occasion or you just want to experience a relaxing Lancaster Canal narrowboat cruise without having to drive, contact Paul Whiteside of Lazy Day Cruises. Paul is a lovely chap who helped us to master steering and mooring up Liberty when we first got her. With years of experience boating, he will make your cruise relaxed and enjoyable, whatever the occasion. If you just want to take in some of nature's beauty, this marina is right on the Lancaster Canal, so you can enjoy some really pretty walks. Here are some clips of some of the sights you may see. There's a nice farm shop called Bradshaw's within easy walking distance of the marina. There you can buy fresh fruit and veg, meat, ice cream, butter, cream, fresh bread, biscuits, cakes, and assortment of various canned and jar goods and candy. Pet food, duck food, cards, flowers, garden plants. They also sell fuel to heat your boat in the winter. Garstang, a pretty market town, is a 10 minute walk from Bridge House Marina. There are three supermarkets in Garstang, Booth's, Sainsbury's, and Aldi. With its picturesque views, lovely location, and beautiful facilities, it's easy to see why Bridge House Marina and Caravan Park is one of the best on the canal system. See you soon!